All right, so in case you didn't know, this is, I found this out today, and I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. I'm not really shocked. I, I've been experiencing it. I'm like, all right, what's, what's going on here? Something's wrong. I'm taking random stat losses. I'm like getting obliterated, basically, right? Randomly out of nowhere, I have just a hundred, maybe, maybe a thousand, maybe a small amount of points below the recommended like limit to get into the game or get into the uh, whatever I'm doing in the story, right? And I'm just losing miserably. Then I get that, let's say a hundred or a thousand, whatever I'm missing, and then I just like steamroll it. I was like, what was the reason? What's happening? And there is apparently a mechanic in the game that allows this to be the case. It is the dumbest thing I've seen. I personally don't like it, but maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not you. You decide. I'm going to share this with you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And again, this is my, or this is the reason why you're losing randomly in these stages just for no reason, basically, right? This is why. By the way, also like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. So first thing, head over here to whatever stage you're currently on. So again, at the time of recording, I'm on 5.3. Um, this is a stage where it's a little bit harder. You might, you know, not be able to clear it. And I was wondering, right? It's a big jump in the, um, squad points right between this now or like before this right so the recommended power to actually do this is 8100 i'm currently on this team let's say i'm 7400 that is what i'm currently at because i am low powered i am losing out on stats they're dropping whatever stats so let's say this character is functioning at 100 percent. that 100 percent is as shows here um, or as shown here so basically diesel functioning at 100 percent is her having 95,616 attack or hp hp attack what the hell hp that is how she's functioning at 100 percent. but if i go into game she is not functioning at that because i'm low power and i'm not you know reaching the recommended limit i'm losing out on that stat by a good percentage so now loading into game here you'll see it right so again this is the same stage i just mentioned if i go over here to hit pause i go down to pepper not pepper i go down to uh click out go to diesel she's at seventy-five thousand. That means effectively from the original HP that I just showed you on the outside being 95,000, I basically lost a little bit less than 25%. That's nuts. That, that is actually nuts to think about how much I just lost in stats just because like, in this scenario, if I'm like 500, 200, 100, it doesn't matter how much I'm lower. I will lose that stat. That's it. I will lose that stat. I am not joking when I say this. You just you did get deducted that's it you just get deducted i don't know why that's a case i don't know why that's a function that's pretty stupid i don't know and now again the case is that yes at some points you might overpower the enemy it doesn't matter maybe like even though you're getting the stat deduction or reduction it doesn't matter you might still clear but i've never seen it in a gacha game or any type of format like this where because you're lower maybe i just i just didn't play that many gacha games maybe that's the case um where it's like you lose out when you're not the recommended cc so let's say you're not ten thousand you're now going to get punished for it and you can't clear the stage at all even if you had skill or whatever because you're getting a 25 percent reduction in all of your stats or deduction whatever but like what i don't know i've never seen that personally but maybe that's a, that's a thing in many games it's weird how they did it so again this is 8,000 by the way right this team that i quickly assembled to go into the match 8,073 that is just a little bit below and i'm still getting the deduction right but if i were to go now and do this right where I, um, let's see, if I just remove this character, I think I have somebody else that I can use right here, yeah. And then I go back in. I didn't, I didn't select her. Come on, click twice there. There, I, I misclicked there, there. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, confirm, squad is there. Now it's 8,157. Now I were to go into this and you'll see that the deduction or reduction or whatever won't happen anymore. It's perfectly fine. I will have that 95,000 promised um, HP for, uh, for Diesel in comparison to 75,000. Remember, it's not just regularly wiping on one stat. It's wiping them all out, which is super, super weird. 95,000. Do you see what I mean here? I, I don't get it. I'm now, again, beyond it. If I wasn't, you'll, you'll see it back then. You just rewind the video. I'm clearly at 75,000 in comparison. I'm now at 95,000. The limit, the actual number I'm supposed to be at. So, yes, that is a plan function. I don't think it's a bug. I genuinely think this is something they actually had in mind to try and prevent players from, you know, progressing too fast because that might be a problem. But usually the counteract to that is to add more content or do something to where it's not you lose out on a stat because you're not reaching their limit. That's always been like, it literally says recommended. It doesn't say requirement. Like it's, we recommend you to have that, but we're not saying that you're, you know, forced to. I don't know. You let me know, but I will also show you this. This is a Reddit post that was confirming what I said. And just, I found this out like myself. And then I realized that, oh, 
people are talking about this. This is an actual thing. I was like, there's no way that I'm like losing so badly when I'm just a little bit below, but then I surpass that number by a little bit, by like 10 more. I level up one character and then I obliterate that stage. I'm like, wait, there's, there's no shot that's happening. And this is the reason there is a mechanic, a ghost mechanic, if you want to say, that is just reducing your stats because you're not reaching their limit they set for you. It's weird, but yeah. So this is the post here, right? So again, basically what I showed you here, this character is functioning at this with 3,770 um, attack. But in the stage, she's not functioning at that. Her HP has been deducted. And then the rest of her stats have also been deducted, uh, deducted down to like this. So I don't get it. I, I, I don't get what the entire point is of doing this. It's like their purpose, I'm guessing, is to gatekeep the content so that I'm guessing you're not like blowing past it too fast. Like, hey, we gotta, we gotta like stop them before they complete too much content. And to do that, if you don't reach that thing of 8,100 in this case of the stage, then, you know, whoops, too bad. You're getting lowered down to 75%. Now, let's say that I was exactly 8,100. Let's say I'm one over. Now my characters function at 100% and they actually can clear it. I don't get what the point of this is. I genuinely don't. But again, this image basically shows it and proves it that the stats are getting lowered because they're not achieving that. And once they achieve that, right, then you're able to clear it. You're getting your stats back at 100%, and that's the entire case. And again, this is posted here in this uh, this thread over here for guides. It was shadow scaling in the main server. They say this game mechanic that not a lot of people know about, right? It's going to be the game will debuff you if you're under the suggested power level. The image shows that you uh, use only around 75% of your attack when you're under the suggested power level. The debuff will also increase the lower your power level is. 77% uh, when you are just under the stage. 10%, so you're only using, what, 10% of your thing if you're around 50% uh, less of the stage. And 0%, you do one damage if you're under 50%, okay? I don't get it. I don't understand why they do this again. It's just, I, I understand why, but it's so stupid, right? You also take more damage than skills, which may be due to the uh, reduction in the defense um, stat, or it might be just a percentage increase in damage done. Need more testing. From what I'm seeing in this image, I'm gonna show it to you again, just basically what I just talked about. That's the whole point of it. And again, I tested for you to show it to you, right? So I'm going back in the game here. I'm gonna quit out of this, uh, this operation. I will go and hit back here. And if I go and remove three characters, let's say I remove three characters here, and I do it, like I jump back into the stage, I then will be hitting for one damage because I'm now too low. I'm below that 50% um, threshold. So I'll go back here. I'll remove these three. I'm gonna leave these two on here, right? These two characters, I'll hit confirm. Now you see it right here. I'm clearly below the 50% threshold. I'm now at 3000 points, which is again, way, way down there. Now, if I were to take it, now in a usual scenario, you can't beat this even if you're at that you know, threshold, but I'm just showing it to you just to see that this is a stat um, that they do apply. I'm gonna get obliterated and I'm only gonna do one damage. You see this one damage, one damage, one damage. If I switch over here to her, I, did, I didn't even get to, they died right away, but that's the mechanic. You're getting a debuff if you're below the certain points. Even if you're one point below, it does not matter. You're only gonna be functioning at 75% or maybe it's 80%. Maybe they up it a little bit just cause you're a little bit low, but you're not functioning at the 100%. And that is why randomly, if you hit the point of actually getting there where you're past the actual um, required limits, then you're able to clear it super fast because oh, you're functioning at the regular rate your characters function at, the regular percentages, all that is there. Um, their stats aren't getting debuffed. So yeah, honestly, it's stupid. It basically says like A, you have to get the recommended, uh, recommended like amount or just have super insane skill and be able to clear it and see if you can like, you know, cheese it in some, in some sort of way. Yes, there are stages that exist where even if you're below the recommended limit, you can get past it. But in a stage like this or in any boss stage or anything like that, being low will automatically just screw you over, right? So that's their way of again, gating it a little bit to make you actually grind and, you know, not rush through the content. I get it from a business standpoint, but like, it's, I don't know. It ruins the little bit of enjoyment of it being like, you know, you have to hit that thing. It's like forcing you to hit that or you're kind of screwed over. Like in some games, you could be like the limit's 10,000. You're at 7,000, you could still beat it. But in this, you have no chance because you're getting a, a, a massive bit, basically debuff, being 25% cut of stats. 25% is a lot. And again, it's across the board. It's not just your attack. It's your defense. It's your HP. It's your attack. It's everything, right? So you're taking more damage. You're dishing out less damage and just nothing's working for you, right? So that is why if you're randomly getting stuck on a stage, that is basically the entire breakdown of what's going on and why be just because you might be a little bit below, you're still kicking the debuff off. So now the tip is if you want to beat these stages, equip the best characters you possibly can, be ahead of it and then take on the stage. Otherwise it won't work for you. Okay. That is how it's going to go again. I'm not a fan of this, uh, this debuff. You might be, you might, I seen people like backing this and saying it makes sense. 
I just, I don't think it's a proper thing. Again, maybe at some areas in the game, some stages, you might not even be able to clear it because you're too low. And like you're at 7,000 out of the 8,000 and you just can't beat it because the stage is difficult. That's fine. There's no need to like, you know, nerf the characters so that even if you were able to clear it, you're now not. I don't know. Just, yeah, that's it. That's what I'm bringing to you here today. That's the entire thing. So again, answering the question of why you can't clear a stage. That is why. There is a debuff. Be aware of it. Just always try to make sure you are above the curve um, when it comes to the recommended amount. And if you're not, and if you're still beating it, good job. You're just a talented, skilled player. And yeah, that's basically it. So catch you the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. That's been it for me. Peace out and enjoy.